What's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the build man with prep time so what i wanted to do was i just wanted to give you guys a quick review on how i feel about the icon motorsports uh zl1 6th gen conversion for the 5th gen camaro guys so um a couple things um i like about it a couple things that was kind of iffy about it um when i compare it to my old bumper for the look that i'm trying to go with I wanted to have DRLs this time, um, and I and I put on a different splitter. I put on the wide body kit splitter from the MB MB style kit from Icon Motorsports. I just haven't installed the wide body kit just yet. Hopefully, in the next three weeks, we'll get that going. But the purpose of this video was so that way I could show you guys that the six gen 2014-2015 headlights also fit on this bumper. The headlights fit on the car. But doesn't mean it's always going to fit on your bumper. But on this exact bumper, they fit just fine. And I'm going to show you guys in this video what I'm talking about. A couple things that I'm going to walk you guys through. Um, it took me like four hours for me to put the bumper together. Because I didn't want to just snap everything into place. Because it does. It snaps into place just like factory. Um, but a lot of the spots, I wanted to make sure I had enough screws on there that I uh, tapped in because I put the splitter on there that's obviously an aftermarket splitter that I'm going to show you guys and it's under the ZL1 splitter so you guys want to make sure you got all the uh, the bolts nice and tight and everything's uh, screwed where it's supposed to be um, and all your U-clips and everything like that do not rush it take your sweet time put it all together um, when you get to the lower splitter as um, soon as you get to the lower splitter it kind of makes it really difficult to get the center and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. When you get to the lower splitter, about right there in the middle, it gets really hard for you to snap that into place. So what I did was I had the bumper on the ground. And when I had the bumper on the ground, I had it facing forward on the ground, on the carpet, um, inside the house. And then I applied pressure from behind the splitter, from the inside, from behind it. And I pressed it against the ground and it snapped it right into place. And having the uh, bolts all uh, lined up inside with the lower splitter, it helped it stay into place so that way it doesn't move. All around from the left side going around to the right side, it all snaps into place just fine. It's just the center. The middle is really hard to get that to snap into place. But I figured out that all you have to do is give it pressure from the back of the bumper down there in the lower splitter area and it snaps right into place and then i put the screw in there and held it so that's one thing now another thing that i do like about it is the fitment now i have the side markers on there right now and these are awesome but they're gonna be covered or coming off once the wide body gets here because that goes over that the, the flare goes over that but what i do like about this bumper is the lining i mean the cuts are exactly lined up I mean you can see right here it goes straight with the body line of the car and it has a really nice fitment right here which is awesome the thing I didn't like was on this side for some reason I got good lining everything lined up but when I got to this part I have a small gap right here and that's just due to the screws inside that you place when you bolt up your screws, as soon as you bolt up your screws right here on the side, I only have two of them mounted. I have the one that's down here and I have the one that's right here. I don't have the one that's all the way up here up top. I don't have that one mounted on. The reason why is because this material is polyurethane and the screw, when you put it through, you don't want to over tighten it because you're just going to start eating away from the material and then it's not going to hold up. So my recommendation for you guys that install this bumper, uh, what I recommend for you guys to do first is just make sure that the screw that's right here on the side, make sure you guys put that in first. That's going to be your support to push this back. And then the clips, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this because I'm on my gimbal, but the clips that are right here, see if it'll turn, yep, right there. You use that as support and the clips that are under the hood right here so once you get those all into place you know it pops right in 
And the cool thing is, like I mentioned, you get to have the six gen lights, which are absolutely beautiful. They show very nice. The light bar shows really nice. And I have the DRLs. These DRLs are super bright. Um, they're just like factory and I got these linked up to a switch um, because of the way my wiring used to be on my old bumper, not my last 6th gen conversion bumper, but my 5th gen, the wiring was on a switch. The number one thing that I really love about this bumper is the fact that I got to keep my crash bar. I didn't have it on my last bumper, but this time around, I had it custom painted and I got it to match my wheels. So now my crash bar is in there, my intercooler for my supercharger is in there, it's all protected, and the whole bumper sits. And as you guys can tell, I don't know if you noticed, but that's a ZL11 LE grill right there. That's an OEM grill that snapped into place also. Um, as I move around on the bumper, when you look at the six gen lights, it has a small gap right over here, right over here in this area, and it has a gap from here to here, right here in this section. Okay, hopefully the camera's catching that. People ask me, yo, Dilla, do you mind that it has that gap? I said, actually, I don't. I don't mind that at all because the more airflow I can get in the car, I know this sounds crazy, but the better. I don't care. It is what it is. That uh, new charger that came out has those like little nostrils right here. Air goes in and it's gravy. So I just say, you know what? It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You can't really notice it until you walk up to it. None of this stuff is going to be perfect. You got to remember it's aftermarket. But this is the closest that you'll get to perfect. So like I was saying, uh, I got the crash bar to match the wheels. On this side, my wheels are blue. And on the other side, my wheels are red. So it's got the blue and red theme going for Optimus Prime. And that's it, man. And then you'll have the six gen lights all ready to go and all that good stuff. And you can get that conversion going. Pretty soon, you guys, I'm gonna have the wide body kit on and we'll get it rocking and rolling I gotta get my tire decals put on and if you guys have any questions just let me know you know write them in the comment section let me know what you guys want to know about the the, uh, the the bumper when I put it together anything you guys want to know just let me know I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the description the link in the description um, where you can get the harness where you can get the lights where you can get the bumper from so that way if anybody else is looking at make this move like I did. This is my second six gen conversion bumper. And uh, this one by far is more of what I'm leaning towards uh, trying to do, so. Guys, one thing I wanted to show you guys, I didn't want to forget. I wanted to show you guys what the lights look like. So there's the bottom DRLs and those things are bright. There's the six gen headlights and they're all on. The light bar is on, the low beam is on, side markers are working, this side is the same thing. So one thing I do want to remind you guys, when you guys do tap in to the signal, make sure it's the middle wire. So when you look at this and you unwrap it, Make sure it's the middle wire between the three wires. The middle wire is the one you tap into. So that way you can get the light bar working. And then the headlight plugs in with the harness and that's it. There you go. If you guys had any more questions, just let me know, man. Down below, holla at your boy. I appreciate all the love and support. We're about to hit almost a million views total on the page and you guys keep subscribing but we just hit 4k um priminator subs you know what i'm saying on here so on instagram i appreciate you guys too we just 33,000. we're close to almost 34 so we on our way man you know what i'm saying we're gonna keep this thing rocking and rolling cock back and reloading man any questions you guys got holla at your boy let me know what's good i gotta finish those headlights and hit the gym i'll holla at you guys later priminator